What is a home inspector going to say about your house whenever you put it on the market? Well, he's going to say several things. In fact, it's going to be a very lengthy report and he's going to take a look at all the systems in the house and he's going to note the age of everything in it, including the um, electrical panel, um, the HVAC systems, the roof. Um, he can only do estimates on like the roof, but uh, he'll usually use a drone or he'll get on the roof and will tell you if it needs work or not. This is how um, buyers become very afraid <laughs> of what they are about to buy because language will be used like at the end of its life. Um, even though it might be working properly, a buyer will be like, oh my gosh, the roof only has three more years. It's going to cost me $20,000 to replace that. Um, uh, oh my gosh, it says that the HVAC system is at the end of its life. That's going to cost me eight to $10,000 to replace that. And there are five units in this house because it's so big, right? So this is what a buyer is going to be doing after home inspection. This is why they get nervous. Um, anytime there's a change in the market, um, you will see that people will Will back out because of home inspections even if there's nothing really major on it so if you have a basement then um, a home inspector is really going to take a look at water um, intrusion and structural issues and uh, it, you know, it can really scare a buyer when they say structural issues. So if you have anything going on in your house and you're thinking about putting it on the market in the next year or two years, um, you might want to call a home inspector and have them come by. It'll cost you about $500 to do an in-depth report so you can kind of see what's going on. Great ways to prepare for a home inspection is change out all your light bulbs. If there is a light bulb out, they can't say a light bulb is out because they don't know. They have to say that there is a problem with the electrical and so it can be an issue it can really scare people and then there's a trust right like now because the light bulb was out and there's a mark on the home inspection about the electrical I'm not going to trust anything that the seller says about it working properly now um, same when it comes to um, pilot lights or, or the gas logs or um, windows that don't open. Um, that can end up being a big deal. You probably haven't even opened your own windows in 10 years, could be 20 years, right? So how, why are they gonna open today? Sometimes they're painted shut. Um, these things can really scare a home buyer. Um, so you might wanna get it um, really checked out. Here's, here's another issue that can come up. When a house was built, um, it's built to a certain code for that time. Codes change rapidly. Um, in fact, a house built five years ago could have had three or four code changes um, from then to today. So a home inspector is going to put not up to code, not up to code, not up to code on there. Well, if I'm looking at it for a seller, I'm like, so what? That it was built to code at the time and it passed all the permitting um, in order for it to you to get a certificate of occupancy. So all of that was fine at the time. Why am I going to tear something down and build it up to today's code? I'm not, but it's still marked in there. And oftentimes you will see a request from a buyer saying, oh, I've got to change the spindles on the staircases to make it up to code today, or the um, uh, 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 handrails around the deck to make it up to code today. So there are some things that um, you want to go through your house and really take a look at um, uh, the systems in it. Uh, take a look at the electrical panel. There are some uh, electrical panels that have a name brand that a home inspector will just say, worst ones ever, you know, will cause fire damage, have been known to burn houses down. <laughs> and that is a huge, huge issue. That is a big fix, very expensive um, when, whenever they plant that, that seed in a buyer's mind. So um, you may want to call a real estate agent and say, hey, you know, how do I prepare? prepare for a home inspection? What do I need to do in, in order to have it ready before we get put on the market? So there are lots of ways to solve those problems before they even happen.